Miller with the winners. Let's head there. We're not talking over Nick though. I mean, by we, I mean me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I actually don't. Oh, oh one. you did have really. Hello, welcome to the sideboard here at the StarCityGames.com team open in Baltimore. I am Nick Miller alongside our now champions, Jackie Hagen, Ryan Overturf, Liz Link. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Chase through the finals there. That was a pretty oh, yeah. crazy nice matchup. Uh, Ryan, well, you uh, know, I lost my first game real quick. <laughs> and then I was looking at a seven card hand that had one land, and it was okay if I hit a second one. And it had a bobble, so you know, it's a lock. It's a keep. I and I keep told it. both of them, I will mulligan if you ask me to. Yeah, that's true. I guess and it is on us. Neither of them had the courage to tell me to ship it, so I got bashed in that game too. Okay. If you mulligan, you oh, have wow. fewer cards. Right. If you mulligan, you had yeah, like two things in the ice. And then I drew life goes on instead of a land. Yeah. But like if I already had the land, then the hand think of how good the life goes on would have been. Pretty good. So. Just think about it. <laughs> you, you knew both teammates weren't going to tell you to mull. I believe in these people. This is my team. It was the correct decision. I yeah. stand behind it. Right. I got the, to the watch I their stand matches. Is because I knew I was about to win, and I knew Liz was about to win, so it didn't matter. Yeah, exactly. Right. And Jacob, uh, the standard deck that you brought, yeah. you kind of were telling everyone soul ties the matchup. Oh yeah. I that's want to play want. all yeah. tournament. This is why I brought the deck. Yep. And it pretty much showed there in the right. finals. Take through the last game. So, well, get, well I mean, uh, uh, game ones are very bad. Like, we're probably going to lose game ones, but our sideboard's so good. All we need to do is, like, maybe Disdainful Stroke something, just dodge the Wild Growth Walker, go off. We have, like, all these baffling ends and Disdainful Strokes to, like, get around that. I mean, I didn't lose to it. I lost to one Esper deck, and that was all of my losses. So, I was pretty confident in, in, in the last game. I mean, or not in, in the last match. The last game specifically is, I mean, it's it incredibly easy. It's <laughs> As soon as, you know, I played the Takaliana guard and he bricked on his thing and then, you know, it doesn't matter. I messed up some things. Ryan told me to play the Takaliana guard as a good call. Yeah, I also the, on uh, the Listen third the turn, in yeah, the third yeah. turn, he could have just played some stuff, had oh, the yeah. city's blessing, was like, whatever, like, I'm winning by so it does. much. It does not <laughs> matter. Yeah, it was good. Uh, Liz, obviously, <laughs> the match came down to you. <laughs> Game three. Yep. Shadow versus Delver, what was going through your mind? Uh, well, I cast that brainstorm and I drew some bad ones, and then I put the good ones back on top. Smart. <laughs> I <laughs> but agree. But I'm my angler, and I just kind of was like, I had like two options, two decisions that game really. It was to get the angler back instead of just like trying to hide it and cast it. Right. And then the dismember line to kill him. <laughs> that was a good one. I'm um, glad we got there. One of the things that I kind of need, need to do in that matchup when, uh, in game three, because when I win game one, I probably lose game two, and in game three I like board out all my grindy cards, and I'm just trying to be as aggressive as possible and try and kill him. Uh, but the hand really didn't do that unless I just make some risks. <laughs> <laughs> so I took some risks, and I thought I was pretty dead, and then Ryan just kind of whispers in my ear, can't we just kill him? Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, like, smart boy. dismember, second, fetch. Bitter Blossom's not a creature. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, the Death Shadow matchup, every matchup's kind of scary. Yeah. You're on edge the whole up. time. It's scary. <laughs> We had, to, we had to make a decision about hitting the volcanic or the underground sea because we're like, oh, what about the yep. lightning bolts? Right. Oh, it yeah. was lightning bolts during Pyromancer, and then yeah. when you brainstormed and two of the cards were lands, I was just like, oh my god, and we have to wasteland next turn, so we can't even shuffle one of them away. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that, was, that was rough, but uh, it, it all worked out in the end. Somehow. Some uh, way. Well, a, a pretty big weekend here. Ryan, obviously, your second trophy won from a long time ago. A long time ago. Uh, but it's pretty important to note, first woman, two Two-day Open champion. History was made here. That's amazing. Uh, thoughts all around. And she had dead weight in the middle seat, so Liz had to do a lot of winning. Yeah. I'm a big fan of winning and I'm a big fan of being a girl, so those things are pretty cool. <laughs> we had a uh, great time. I was told there were going to be many shout-outs, so let's go ahead and start getting those out of the way. Uh, this tournament win brought to you by Tigtone. Yeah. Tigtone. A wonderful there. show. We love Tigtone. We're watching it Tig tonight, that's for yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. We get some Korean barbecue and watch probably why we won, honestly. We watched it yeah. Friday night going into Saturday. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's, it's incredible. We were on a quest. It's like unbelievable. Anyone getting ready for a tournament? I think, A know. Tig tournament. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Nick. Right. <laughs> Show some respect. Go wrong. If you want a Tig, take it down. That's really the only way to prepare. <laughs> yeah, any other ones other than Tigtone? Uh, I want to shout out uh, Guild Gaming, store where yeah. I work, the magic manager there. I want to shout out my amazing wife, Natalie. Woo! Sitting right there. 
in the Galaxy Print Sweater. Uh, I want to shout out Tig Tone again, obviously. Of course, yeah. Yeah, it, it's just. Uh, and I want to shout out my round 15 opponent for just breaking the format. Yeah. Oh, he killed me yeah. with some Arclight Phoenixes, and I'm going to play that deck in the future. He's like Grixis Arclight Phoenix. That deck yes, is sick. Uh, Thomas Ash, yep. deck 14 and 1. That Definitely one was nice. The talk of the that was insane. I got but bashed by it. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was brutal. As good as he did, y'all right. talk of the tournament. That's true. Hey, we'll take it. Yeah. Fourteen and one for you, so not bad. Yeah, something like that. We're not done with shout outs here. <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's yeah, go, Ryan. A couple for me. I'll shout out to my girlfriend Lizzie. She watched some of my matches this weekend. Woo! Doesn't really know anything about magic, so I really appreciate that. Uh, shout out to my store back in Minneapolis, Lodestone Coffee and Games, and all That's the customers sorry. that enable us to have an amazing community and give me high access to cards when I want to build bad modern decks. Amazing. Uh, I would like to shout out to my partner Elena, who is also watching the tournament from home, mostly not knowing what's going on, but has cats and told me when I was winning with all those cat tokens, just all caps, cat power. <laughs> so I'm, I'm down. <laughs> All right, well, you guys came, took down the tournament. Great fashion. Congratulations, Jacob, Brian, Lynn. Good job Thank this you. weekend. Going to send it back over to Matthias and Emma to close it out here in Baltimore. Well, there you have it, some very deserving champions here at the Team Constructed Open here at SCG Baltimore. Uh, it was really, I had a lot of fun watching this tournament. Uh, there was some really great matches on camera. Matthias, you got something. You, you don't you worry about it. it. It's the magic of television. <laughs> Can we go home now? I think it's about time to go home. So thank you so much for everybody who watched the tournament at home. All of our players that made it out this weekend put on a great show, of course. Emma Handy, Matthias Hunt, Brian Guileb, Todd Anderson, who was subbing in for Jerry Thompson. We'll be working with him next weekend. Nick Miller in the cyborg. We'll be in Dallas next weekend. You won't want to miss that one. Uh, so check us out then. And for all you watching at home, hope you have a great evening.